Hi guys and girls, so today I want to talk about ZeniMax and their horrifying, horrifying moderation of the game. So overall, I've been enjoying Elder Scrolls Online quite a bit. Like, I actually enjoy the game, I think it's a lot of fun, uh, I've met some really nice people, but one of the biggest turnoffs in the game so far has been ZeniMax's horrifying moderation, at least on the PC version of the game. And uh, just to give you a couple examples, one was botting. Um, I saw a guy botting and I reported him a week later, he's still botting. And then I talked to other people and not just one, but several people have indicated that those botters might never ever be banned. In fact, usually they see the same damn botter six months later and they get away with it all the time. And from my theory on that, it's, it's probably true. They probably don't squash botters right away. What they're probably doing is they're allowing them to last, say, three or four, six months even. Then they ban them. The user will buy another box version of the game, whatever. Um, they're also buying ESO Plus because a lot of the botters are material farmers. So they go around farming materials and you know this is all horrifying to me because not only they're inf uh, inflating the market basically making you know materials really cheap but Zenimax is doing it because they're profiting from it you know they realize well you know let's just say there's a thousand botters I don't know if there's that little or that much to be honest but let's say there's a thousand botters well you add that up I mean that's 15 grand a month just from botting i mean that's that's what like almost 150,000 a year from botting if if there was only just a thousand botters with eso plus that's not counting you know the game boxes etc cetera, etc cetera, right so when you really really think about it they're making amazing amount of money and then on top of that, there's really, really bad moderation when it comes to chat. Uh, there's people who are homophobic, for example, in uh, Citadel or whatever you pronounce at the PvP zone. Um, and people can be openly rude and harassing and pretty much some of the most crazy talk. I mean, almost near hate speech. And they don't get banned. I mean, back in the day, it would have been snap you out, basically. The guy would have gotten muted and warned, and he kept going. He'd have been banned right away. Sure, maybe somebody will eventually deal with it, but we're not talking about in a couple hours. We're talking about weeks, if not months. And it's ridiculous. I mean, beyond ridiculous. Um, on top of that, uh, now we have really bad scammers. And I thought this guy was kind of new. And the only reason I found out about him was I was able to Google his name and find out, oh, no, he's been doing this for a few months. Uh, if we go and check here, uh, my mail. What's my mail one? I'm really bad with these. I think this is mail. Haha. -ha. There you go. TYVM. So thank you very much, Bon Scott, uh, Guild Scammer. And you can see, you know, this has been ported in here. Um, this also being, uh, was a bit, oh, that was something else. Here you go. Here's another one. This is another guild talking about him. And so he's been literally legitimately going around and talking about it. And heck, in fact, when I logged on right here, it must have been, uh, oh, been trying to figure out. I thought they were talking about him, to be honest. But, uh, almost every time I'm in chat, somebody by, you know, if you sit in there, somebody's talking about him. If it's in zone chat or in a guild chat, you know, he's been talked about nonstop. But anyways, um, yeah, so what this guy was doing is he was making guilds, even replica guilds. Like, for example, if we read this one, um, I'm in a guild called uh, Daggerfall Imperium Inc. Well, he's made a guild called Daggerfall Imperium Inc. 2, and he's saying it's, uh, you know, because our guild is so big, they've decided to make a second guild, and he's getting people to join. And what he does is he offers, like, you know, he convinces people that like, this is the legit, you know, trading guild and stuff. And he offers like, oh, if you pay 40k gold, for example, you'll be able to not have to pay dues or whatever for an entire year, etc. Worst part is our guild has no dues to begin with. So you don't actually have to pay for anything in it. That's one of the reasons why I like this. But he is actually getting away without, you know, with any replica repercussions. Sorry, I can't say the words right. Um, but he, yeah, he's getting away, and this has been going on for months. So what I did was I posted on Reddit, and I posted on the Zenimax forums. Because you know what? People deserve to know. They need, they should be able to, you know, if you're going to allow scammers or not deal with people who are doing bad things, you should allow name and shame. That That's simple as that. 
I'm sorry, but you know what? If you're going to do something bad and somebody shames you, that's how it should be. We're not talking about naming and shaming anyone just for fun. Like, oh, that Kane guy's a bitch, you know, name and shame. And honestly, that happens in 99% of games anyway, so who cares, right? But you should be able to look up a guy and, you know, not have it censored. Well, what ended up happening a few hours after my post, Zenimax came around, punished me. I got a warning and everything and punished uh, on the forums about basically posting his name and the, the screenshots, all the screenshots and information from guild chat to this to zone chat, etc. Everything about this guy. There was more than enough evidence right there to just, you know, mind boggle you. I mean, the guy was even convincing people, oh, I'm going to give millions away for free. And I get punished for it. But he isn't punished. And this is Zenimax's way. They don't want to publicly have people see this kind of stuff. They tend to censor it all down. And it's like, well, that's not how you run a game. If you went and banned him and dealt with him and said, thanks, we've gotten rid of it. But, you know, for privacy reasons, we're going to remove this. Fine. But even then, it's not a privacy reason. It's just one of the rules. Basically, I broke a rule that you're not allowed to name and shame. But hey, if you're botting and breaking the rule, if you're scamming and breaking the rule, if you're harassing and breaking the rule, if you're name calling and whatnot and being homophobic and stuff like that, you're breaking a rule. Oh, well, those might take six plus months. But oh, the forms are well moderated. Their own damn game, the place that they should be putting their money into and effort to moderate, they don't. They don't at all. And that that's the horrific part about Elder Scrolls Online is it's one of the worst moderated games out there. I have seen dead games better moderated than this. You know, my, I can say I run Minecraft servers and we'll have one or two people on it. It's better moderated than these MMOs with millions of players. And this is the problem. I get a lot of people, but a lot of people get confused and easily upset by this. They're telling me, well, Kane, you have to understand, there's, you know, you said there's a million players in this. So, of course, moderation is harder. You know, actually, I'm sorry, but moderation is easier. The bigger numbers there are, the easier you can scale with the moderation. It's actually more simple, to be honest. The hardest part is going through a million tickets, but. Hiring somebody to do your basic moderation, oh, well, you know what? I can already point to you on the map. I could say, oh, this is a good site, you know? Like, for example, I can show you here. Um, oh, sorry, uh, let's go out one. And, and I'm a newbie, right? But uh, I can tell you right away, if we zoom in here and go to this continent, right here, uh, around this spot is a good botting area. Around this area is a good botting area. You, you know, there are paths and areas that bots like to hang, you know, for material farming, for, you know, the basics, you know, and I, I've, I've seen them elsewhere, right? But over time, you learn their patterns and how they go. Uh, newbie islands, they tend to bot quite a bit as well and do a certain path as well. But, um, oh, look at this. East, I'll join them. I'm sure it's going to, I wonder if he's in there. It would be so funny if he was actually in this guild. I, I'm, I'm assuming not, but you imagine... Triple V, members online. Oh, it's like a whole, like, no members. It's a new one. What's his uh, message say? Shortly after appearing with John, blah, blah, blah. No, private Ray, blah, blah, blah. We'll see over time and see what they say, but uh, I'll be interested. No, um, this user is also known for using multiple... Uh, account names and things like that so uh, you, you, you always get tricked by them over time but anyways uh, long story short you know Zenimax could easily hire part-time people full-time people minimum wage I I'm a full-time caregiver I have a loved one and I love her so much and I stay at home and I care for her I have next to no money in my name in real life you know what if somebody hired me part-time or even full-time minimum wage or even contract, even less than minimum wage, if you did that to be somebody who can go and help, you know, I can be the bot squasher, etc. I can, you know, monitor Citadel. Like I said before, you know, scaling's easier. Guess what? When you go on a server like this, let's go to L here, Alliance Wars. Let's look at the campaigns. Oh, guess what? There's one single 30-day standard campaign. Guess what? There's certain one... 30 day non champion, and then there's uh, the below 50 and whatnot's even less people. But these two tend to be some of the more vile ones, especially the main 30 day one. I could just sit there, sit in chat, and be like, No, you're not supposed to do that. I'm sorry, you were warned for that. No, you're not supposed to do that as well. You are being warned for that. You know, it doesn't take a genius, it doesn't take 
a massive amounts of money. It doesn't take anyone to, you know, help with moderation. Um, like I said, you can easily go around and follow the patterns here. Um, active moderation for bot reporting would be awesome, especially if I have the tools to be able to see in their inventory and stuff like that. I would just teleport to said person. You know, I'd start with the latest on the list. You know, I'll let the guys do however the method they're doing now, but I'd go through the latest on the list of bot reporting and boom, 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 go through the list and be like, wow, look at that. This one was just reported and he's active, like, especially if they're active and online. Those are the perfect bot reports to go with. And if they don't have the tools for that, they really should make tools for that to make it easier on you. But, you know, you basically go, boom, okay, he's online. Let's check his inventory out. Let's see what he's doing right now. Let's follow him. Boom, he's a botter. That's one gone, you know. Um, basically, every time I knock out a botter, I'm already paying way more for my, you know, for the, the, the effort that, uh, you know, I would gain from the company as a part-time or full-time you know, minimum wage employee. Um, so, you know, it kind of pays for itself. But I keep talking to people. I've talked to them in Discord. I've talked to them in game. I've talked to them on Reddit and things. People have told me, just like how I'm feeling, they don't like the game anymore. They love the game, but they don't like how it's managed. They do not like how they are letting this happen without any, you know, instant action where you know i mean we're, we live in a world where you can't just go well you know you swear and chat and he d disappears of course you know it's not that kind of world we live in and of course you can't have that kind of moderation automated moderation like that but you can have a bit more active moderation i have never seen for the week plus i've been playing since i've been back i've not seen a moderator once in chat nor have i seen one you know, last time I was playing for a bit, the only time I saw it was when the game first launched, and it was amazing. I mean, the game had a lot of issues, as we know, but the moderation was amazing. That's gone. All that's gone. They've gotten rid of, from what I can tell, all active moderation, uh, or at least I've never seen it since. And that's that, to me, is very shameful. I mean, it was awesome when you get that message coming up, the guy wants to smash some bots. That made me want to play. That that made me think, wow, this is an active community. There's more to it. It was kind of cool, you know, like somebody would show up. You you know, there's an actual physical presence and being and, you know, it felt good. And like I miss MMOs that were like that. That was part of the MMO community. And it, it made them more in depth and more enjoyable, especially when they, you know, they go a little further and they run a little events. You know, they don't have to do anything too fancy, too overpowering, too silly, you know, something that, you know, is gainful, but they could do, you know, different little events just to make the game a bit more enjoyable, you know, uh, but things like that don't really exist in these games anymore, and it's, it's just shameful, so I just wanted to let you guys know my feelings about the game. I've been enjoying the game overall. I really enjoy it. I like the game. Um, the, the, the worst thing outside of that, to me, is the animation cancelling in this game. I find that kind of horrid in my head. I wish there was a bit better animations in that way. I wish movement was a bit better and more fluid. Um, they have like more realistic uh, uh, physics, which kind of work in some games. I feel kind of sucks in this game. I find it not the best in MMOs, but for example, I'm going to go like this. And Okay, so you see how I jump like this? Okay, I'm going to jump and then go forward. Oh, you can here. A lot of times you can't. So like a lot of times you can't. This time I am actually able to do it, so it's not too bad. But a lot of times you're just doing something basic and you're trying to jump and then all of a sudden you're stuck on the wall and it's like, oh damn, I got to do this again. And it's like, look at that. I was able to leap even further and further in, right? But uh, yeah, sometimes you're going to have to work on that. But um, I find the animations a little harder to deal with sometimes, a little clunkier. But I find overall the gameplay and most things enjoyable. Like, I mean, that's like... Four or five percent of my annoyance, where ninety percent of it is just literally the the community run moderation, basically that doesn't exist. That really bothers me. I mean, when you enjoy something, but then you see people pretty much able to spit in your face while playing the game, it's not as enjoyable. When you can see botters destroying the economy because they can bot for six months without any, you know, without any issues, without any problems, and they get away with it. That's insane. I mean, they are destroying the entire economy when they're able to do that. You know, materials, like basic, you know, I materials are very expensive in this game. People don't realize it. Like, I can farm day and night for quite a bit and get a lot of materials. And sure, I can make a good buck or two here, but really, that isn't a lot. It really is little. I mean, it's like, yeah, I made, you know, I spent an hour doing it. Maybe I made, like, you know, you know a few thousand, maybe even 10,000K or whatever. Um, but there are people on here with millions and millions 
tens of millions of gold on here. And that's because the economy is kind of really bad up and down in so many ways. And it's because one of the things is, you know, the the farming of certain things is kind of up and down really badly because of automated botting. I mean, it's really, you know, screwed up the prices a bit uh, and doesn't make it like a nice curve. Instead, it just makes it kind of boom, 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 up and down. And in a game like this with a lot of economy to it, that shouldn't be the case. But what can I say? Anyways... This is a bit of a rant video. Like I said, I really enjoy the game, but you know, it is turning me off quite a bit the way the moderation is in the game. And honestly, it is actually making me want to look into another game to play. And I mean, I guess you have to look at that. Like I said, I'm a pretty poor guy. I mean, I have ESO Plus on here, but I probably won't be renewing it. And once I don't renew it, I won't enjoy the game because you know, I, I don't, you know, I have very little money to my name to begin with, like I said. And once I can't renew it, I won't enjoy it because I can't harvest and gather materials. And guess what? One of my favorite things is doing this, is going around and gathering materials. And having that infinite bag of material holding is one of the best parts of the game. But once that happens, I'm not going to enjoy it anymore. And I won't be able to gather around. And then there you go. So... Yeah. Anyways, that's my feelings and thoughts of the game. Basically, get some moderators, Zenimax, do something about it. Uh, don't punish people like me for naming and shaming. Like I said, the only reason I found out about this guy and his history was because I was able to do just that, name and shame. In fact, I brought his attention to multiple guilds while you know there was some kind of weird facts going around, and I was even thanked by somebody. Like um, somebody called me a wise man. Actually, um, I'm kind of hoping it was just me kicked out of the why buying for elsewhere. But I suspect. Uh, thank you very much, threw a fit and burned it all down. And I sent him a message telling him, you know, yeah, it looks like he was what he was when I said it. And he's like, well, a wiser fool I am I. Uh, well, a uh, wiser fool am I. I don't know. He said thanks for the update. Anyways, um, but the point is, you know, I was warning people. That's that's naming and shaming, technically. If you say it in game chat, if you say it to other people, that's still considered naming and shaming. And guess what? It was working. I was helping other guilds. You know, other guilds were like, whoa, whoa, wait, you, you're serious about this? And they were holding down the fort. In fact, the only reason we found out this guy was scamming and the other guild went to hell was because I found out in another guild that he was literally spamming that guild and saying, join our that allied guild, the... Um, the why, why buy elsewhere guild and basically i said in the why else guild hey look it the, the everyone's saying this guy is bad news and then i looked him up and i said i think he's a scammer he's gonna take all the gold etc and then a day later the entire guild gets pretty much disbanded well from my understanding he kicked all the active players he left the all the inactive players and then a few months later from my understanding what he does is he rebuilds the guild again but then he went on a full murder spree basically he created multiple guilds he was naming them even after the new guild i got naming it exactly the same with a two on the end uh he went completely bonkers and crazy but you know what naming and shaming helped those you know there were people who you know learned they heard about this and said oh i'm not putting a cent into it and guess what that naming and shaming helped especially if zenimax is not going to punish and do anything about this i mean they're basically saying hey we allow this they don't do ip bans and i don't think you should do ip bans in gaming when i say ip they should be looking up the ip address and seeing how many other accounts the user has you know it's not too hard to say oh this guy has this account this account maybe it's the same credit card information whatever Bam, 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 bam. That's that's not a hard thing. I mean, even if they accidentally ban the wrong person that shouldn't have been, you know, that person could easily contact them and say, hey, yay, something happened and say, well, you were sharing the IP of a, a known person, blah, blah, blah. Do you have any kind of evidence or proof? You know, we're not saying you're guilty until proven innocent, but at the same time, can you prove you're somebody different, I guess, or whatever, you know, just can we have a piece of uh, identification or information if if there is something fishy, you know, like, you know, they share the same credit card information. It's like, well, you're saying you're a different person, but you have the same credit card information. Can you have any proof on this? Um, but anyways, you're, you're getting the idea. You know, there's a lot more they can do, but they just they just don't. And so, yeah, naming and shaming has to be a thing. You, you can't say no to it because if they kept moderation on and, you know, that person was gone within a few days, it wouldn't be a big deal. But because they, they're here for months and months and months and I was able to Google the guy and find him months before doing the same stuff, 
then the only reason we learn about these people is through naming and shaming. And honestly, the only reason Zenimax doesn't want us to do it is to protect their own interests. And you know what, Zenimax? You need to, you know, your forms are decently moderated, but you're in-game. I pay you money not to use your forms, but I pay you real-life money to play your in-game portion of it. So hire some fucking moderators. Simple as that. It's It's insane. Anyways, guys and girls, thank you so much for watching. Sorry about my rant. I haven't done a rant for a very long time, but it was needed. And I'm sure I've said the same thing over and over and over, but you know what? Fuck it. Anyways, have a wonderful day. Bye.